Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Sup? Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. See seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients I didn't already have at them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than staring snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Noelle? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? Ah, we've already known the main character is a, is a, is a bag of poop. He's a big old pack of poopy. He's dookie. We don't, we don't like the main character. I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Uh, this is ridiculously heavy. Uh-huh. I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits, um, hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Huh? Um... It's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than people. But, jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Aha, uh -huh. what? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. H hey, now you are treating me like a little kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Uh, oh, there she goes! Getting jealous of the other girls again for no reason! Natsuki, forget it. I didn't say anything. I, I should apologize. Huh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little bit more considerate to you, but also... If that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Great! Now we're making her feel self-conscious about her body type! Thanks, main character! Still a bag of poo-poo. Uh, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey! Oh, was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. Aha! Uh -huh. You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Noelle. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the better at once, so we had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Noelle, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's gonna go in the oven soon. I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have that of preference, so... Come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least... Uh, or can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, uh, that... That does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking, it's just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. 
It's a million times more worth it in the end just looking at, uh, just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on your first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat shaped cupcakes and Sayori putting Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah. Maybe I'll use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just making sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with the whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It'll just take longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk for me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. Yes. Fucking just go at the icing, bro. <laughs> why'd they have to pick icing? And why'd they have to use the word beating? I don't know! Maybe it's because this is an 18! Rated 18 and up game! I still think they're gonna get freaky on with us, okay? After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. Oh boy, I know where this is going. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey, Natsuki suddenly grabs my waist. Wait, oh, see? That, I told you this is gonna get all sussy. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. What is that code for? Your icing, eh? Yeah. Are you forgetting who did all the work? I started to fight back, trying to, trying to inch my finger towards the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. See? This is what I'm talking about! I, I already know where this is going. Oh, it said wrist? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'd like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. Guys, come on! You can't blame me when it's worded like this! I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Natsuki tugs with all of her might. See? Come on! <laughs> ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Mmm! Okay, listen. I can't be the only one. Gross! You got it on my face. <laughs> Club of icing on the on Natsuki's cheek, guys. Literally, uh, it's not even my fault anymore. Okay, it's 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 literally not even my fault anymore. Okay. <laughs> she tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this. Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own fat. <laughs> Carmen, thank you for the 21 bits. <laughs> really think they're gonna I mean listen I, 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 I think they already got a freaky I think icing's code word for something else anyways you wish I'm faster I grab her her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back but I grab that one as well oh no come on guys you can't blame me for thinking what I'm thinking look calling you gross <laughs> you know I don't mean it it's just fun seeing you react to it 
You do that to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things to get a reaction out of me? You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In the case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it- <gasps> I PUT IT IN MY MOUTH! LICKING THE ICING OFF! <laughs> um... Sorry. That's kinda gay! <laughs> What? Did you seriously just- uh, uh. Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. N Noelle, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the moon turn to this so quickly? I, I... Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Huh? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in there, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning on the oven. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt and grabbed the blackened tray out of the oven. Blackened! <laughs> Trigger word. <laughs> Don't get broke up! Guys, the brain rot doesn't leave you. I'm so sorry. I I forgive you for now on. I'm literally just gonna keep making Dog and Ropa fucking references for now on. She sets it up on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway. I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. <laughs> that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each one of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Let's get creative. <laughs> Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that'll make them look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I picked up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can always use it to write stuff on a cake, like happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Huh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each one of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word that they like. Uh, hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea, so... Uh-huh. Uh, maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect for me to think that you're cute. Bro, you can't just say that to a girl! This main character is actually stupid, bro. Well, Natsuki voice just trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say something? N no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle onto each one of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting any time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all aside to admire our work. Look how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, I, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> Sayori is the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably down 10 cupcakes already, and she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I, I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I, I need to be home for dinner. Oh, right! She's a fucking weeb! I actually really like Natsuki. I forgot about that. She needs to get the fuck out of this MC's house, though. So, like, he's not it. He is not it. 
Uh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so hopeless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at the point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work. Uh, good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that. Did I even take the opportunity to get close to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Huh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think I think that, if possible, I like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or, or go out somewhere. Uh, um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. N Noelle? I thought you only cared about getting this done. Um... I I'm sorry, I had to leave so early today. I, I didn't want to. I would really stay longer here if I could. I, I feel the same way as you, so... Oh, yeah, she kind of got really close to me. Uh, uh, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> she, uh, uh, <laughs> are we about to kiss? Hmm... <laughs> Uh, Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing, uh, uh, standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up to me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the side of my shirts as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. Oh my god, she's gonna kiss me! What is happening, bruh? <laughs> My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breath against me. I, I, fe I felt it for a while now. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Sayori? Eh? Ah! Oh, fuck, bro. Man! Now she knows I'm a fucking simp. <laughs> Wait, this is actually so sad. She saw us, though. Oh, that sucks, bro. Guys, no! I just broke both of their hearts! Uh, hi, Noelle. Sayori! Just now we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Noelle. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, uh well... And I'm not gonna let anyone get in my way! I'm a failure. After all that hard work... I'm sorry, All Might. I'm sorry, Mom. God, I've been falling for a long time. Carmen! <laughs> Thank you for the 60 bits! Bro, I don't even want Yuri, bro! I fucked it up with my two waifus! Now neither of them are gonna want me! They just think I'm a fucking player now! I mean, the main character is shit anyway, so I don't blame them, but STILL! Sayori didn't need to see that. She was already. She's already. She already has depression. Okay. <laughs> you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out. So. Ah, uh, really? That's too bad. Y yeah. Well, uh, I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries, hurries off, and Sayori waves goodbye. Uh, Sayori, I, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. No, it doesn't! She's about to cry! Don't lie to me, sweet baby girl. Don't do that. 
that you've made such good friends. Bro, I know you saw us about to smack lips. Don't lie to me. That all matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. Th th that's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Noel? I'm supposed to be happy for you. No! You love me! And I'm supposed to love you back! And this little weed tried to smack lips with me, okay? It, it wasn't what it looked like. <laughs> Why does it feel like my heart's splitting in half? No, guys, no! Uh, it hurts so much. No, 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 no. Everything hurts so much. No, I hurt her. This would be so much better if I could just dis- Sayori, no! Don't say that. Sayori, don't- you Don't say that! It's true, Noel. It's not true! If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. I'm not wasting any sympathy! You wouldn't have to put up with me for being selfish. Monica was right. Monica! Fuck you, Monica. Monica was not fucking right. Fuck Monica! I should just- Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you is isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anyone else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm gonna be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. B but Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Noel. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. <laughs> Sayori, it's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. No, well, no. Guys, wait, this isn't good. <laughs> no. Uh, everybody, everybody put a F U. F F U Monica Fuck Monica Fuck that bitch I like you so much I wanna die DON'T DIE DON'T DON'T DO THAT That's how I feel And and That's enough Sayori I don't want you to hurt anymore I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand on my own Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you do you still believe me wordlessly sayori nods even if you don't understand all of your own feelings i know what you need the most right now and that's what i'm going to give you Sayori, we love her. We messed up, but we love her. But she saw us! She saw us! If I tell her I love her, it's just gonna hurt her more. Right? Oh, I can't do that to her. But if I say you'll always be my dearest friend, I'll be lying, bro! I'm gonna, st I'm gonna tell her I love her. I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So... There's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner, but spending time with everyone else at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Noel. We secured the bag, chief. We secured the bag. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Noel, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Noel. I want to be with you forever. She loves me! Chat! She said she loved me! She said she loved me! <laughs> I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori. I'm supposed to be happy right now. I'll always... 
I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me, but why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, the wall. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. O okay. I trust you. Sayori and I release each other. So, I guess it makes the festival of our best of Rindo. Desider, thank you so much for the resub. My best of friend, though. We secured the girl. We secured the girl. Dead center. Hopefully you're having a good one. <clears throat> I guess that makes the festival tomorrow. Our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I, I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Noelle. Sayori gazes at me once again, smiling sadly, even if I get really, really sad. This is the best thing for me, right? Huh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me that you loved me. <laughs> Have a good day at work, that's it! <laughs> Guys, I just... I, I just want to say, I don't know why every time... The first reaction I have when somebody fucking scares me is I don't like just take my headphones off. I like fucking punch myself in the face and like my headphones fly out, okay? I felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me. But I'm having so much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can confront her, or I can't comfort her, um, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they are. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. That was so cute.